All right, so we're back. We're playing um, Sky Factory 2.5. That looks like goo over there tripping out in the back. I'm going to pause it real quick. Um, so let's see, last episode died twice to an Enderman. Uh, I think he teleported to a solid block, not to one of the slabs. So I guess... Um, he just walked too close to a place he could teleport to, and uh, got behind me and killed me twice. <laughs> uh, the second one was avoidable, but for some reason he aggroed me when I looked at his feet. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so between the end of that episode and this one, all I did was uh, make some railing, uh, built the box that I'm looking at right now with the mobs in it, uh, because I need skeletons to spawn so I can get bone meal. And uh, grew a few trees to get some more material, which I should probably go back and put that stuff in the chest. But I saw a skeleton spawn over here, so I figured I would go ahead and start recording another episode. So people don't think I'm cheating and just doing stuff um, not legit. So anyway, oh also, uh, I found my gravestone. From when I died, I'll show you where it is here in a second. First, let me kill this skeleton. He can probably shoot right over that. Yeah. Who's this guy? No idea. Sorry, whoever that guy was, I don't know your name. I do know Good, though. And there's a tiny little Captain Sparkles. Alright, I can't... Stop it. And he walked right off the edge. Well... Hope you land somewhere nice. And we got our first loot bag of the series. What do we got? Ooh, jungle saplings. Some string. Don't need that anymore. Stone and nether wart. Nether quartz, I mean. Not nether wart. That would have been cool. Don't have anywhere to plant it, but would have been cool to have for later. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and... close that up. I will fix it later. So while I was building this uh, fence all the way out here, I found the gravestone. It's right there under the platform. And then of course the second time I died I didn't have any items on me, so there won't be a gravestone I think. If there is it would be like right under here somewhere. But anyway, Oh, also, I don't need that there anymore. That was where I was going to plant something. Alright. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Let's go ahead and put this stuff up. Gonna need another chest. Let's go ahead and make that. And it can go there. Alright, that's going to get turned into stone. Cobblestone, I mean. And we are going to make... I need one more piece of bone meal. Kind of keep an eye out. Over. I see a skeleton on the mini-map, so I know there's one over there. So we need one more porcelain clay. Might as well put that up. And my health's a little low now from the skeleton. Food's a little low. Who's this guy? Bacon. Oh, Bacon Mom. Not Guy, it's Bacon Donuts Mom. It's a little mini Bacon Mom. Sorry, Bacon Mom, had to kill you. You're a hostile mob. He's acting like he can see me. Ah, uh, bones. Cool. Can you guys see me? I guess not, or they'd be walking over here. Again, I'm not worried about the um, item magnet being on. Also in this case, because I can just open the 
the box up and walk in here and get to where the items actually would have dropped. So, um, these need to be slabs right here so I can actually hit through there. Like the mob farm from the 2.4 series, it's just a little bit smaller. All right. There is the clay for the crucible. Now I just need to get enough cobblestone to make a furnace. Let me make sure there's not some weird alternate uh, recipe for this before I do it. No, okay. And you can get a furnace from loot bags? Apparently. Not seeing it. Nope, I didn't see it anywhere. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you can. Now what is this? This says Furnace 62. Is that like the one when it's on and the item is wrong? Redstone Furnace, I know about that. Another Furnace. Blast Furnace. Yeah, okay. And then the Slab Furnace. So this will take half as much cobblestone. Still need four though. And I've got two. Um, I guess let's make some more dirt, right? And what kind of food do I have? I guess I'm just using apples still. Don't want to click on a barrel with that. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need to go all the way full. <laughs> as soon as I can automate dirt production or a cobblestone generator, will be great. Let me check here. Anything uh, I've done here? Um, mob farm thing. Make a dark room. Bam. Got it. This is our next uh, target right here. Well, we've crafted the crucible but haven't cooked it yet. Oh, we made clay. And we know how to do this. I went all the way down to dust and then made clay out of it. I haven't sifted stuff for uh, ores yet though, so we're getting there. Alright, let's see, if I can get enough stone, three pieces of dirt should give me enough stone here. Nine and sugarcane seeds, ooh, yes. I probably need one more, right? Because you can't make half slabs out of... Yeah, you need multiples of three. So I would still need six cobblestone to get the slabs to do it, but eight for a full-size one. <sighs> do I want to use these last two pieces of dirt? I guess, why not? can always make more. Got plenty of saplings to uh, grow more trees and stuff. Alright, melon seeds and pumpkin seeds. Alright, there's seven, so let's do like that. Make our slab furnace. Alright, now I need charcoal. Let's go ahead and uh, this stuff will burn, right? It should anyway. It 
Should be able to get one piece out of those. Yeah. And then we go like that and make eight. Alright, now that we have a way to cook stuff, let's cook some silkworms. Not all of them, some of them though. Any mobs? Nope. Am I too close to that? I might have to move it. Or maybe there's still light in there? From underneath? That might be a thing. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. I know I just cooked that one slab in the furnace, but I had to make a piece of charcoal real quick. Let's go ahead and do this. Take these off. Let's put the full blocks at the bottom and these like that. Perfectly dark. Awesome. And then um, let's do like that. I've got a couple extra fences on the sides here. There. Move this out one. That way I can uh, get over here at an angle if I need to. There we go. Alright, now stuff should spawn in there when I walk out here. Should be pretty quick. Yeah, it's already done. A creeper, maybe two creepers and a zombie. Looks like there's four mobs in there right now. Five. There's about five things in there. How's this going? Alright, we got eight charcoal. I'm going to use two of those. Cook up 16 silkworms. Uh, you know, I should probably do the crucible real quick. And whatever. How much does that give? One hunger. Yeah. That's fine. Whatever of that fuel is left, I'll probably get all but like two of those. Okay, crucible done. Where do we want it? Well, I'm gonna put the gate right there just in case. Uh, I know there's like some kind of spider that makes smaller spiders that can get through that little gap right there and it can probably get under this too so I might switch that to a full block or you know what there I'll get another slab and that is not a spawnable spot while the gate is closed good to know now let me check if I didn't hit the wrong button okay recording is still going we're good uh, where do I want to put the crucible? Probably like right here. Next to where we're doing everything, huh? And the crucible's gonna want a heat source under it, so... Alright, let me get some multi-use out of this torch. Bam, crucible's right there. <laughs> Good luck growing a tree now, right? Alright, now we're gonna use the crucible... Dang it, I need to move that dirt block, don't I? Yeah, we're going to have to move our starter dirt. Just a little bit. But before we do, since I don't actually need to use bone meal to grow trees, I don't have to worry about wasting it. Let's see if we can actually get one to grow here. Maybe like a really tall one to get over, over that. Oh yeah. We can still get it to grow there. If anything, the taller ones are better. Okay, 
this is gonna break the X yeah toss that in uh, let's go ahead and break this crook also there we go it's already paid for itself let's use arrows take the rest of this tree down with if we can get to a good spot that would this one will probably do the rest of it and then this branch here that got separated now all the leaves should start despawning on their own let's help that out alright so we got like 30 something saplings 32 saplings from that one tree pretty good leave a few in there make some dirt is that one full yeah perfect amount I guess I made too many barrels huh <laughs> um all right so next thing we want to do I don't really need the crucible to be working at the moment there we go uh, I'll be using the crucible to get lava to run the smeltery but uh, first I need to start making cobblestone and breaking it down into sand and gravel and get some more clay so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing until the next episode is uh, grinding out some cobblestone and that's pretty much why in the last series uh, I didn't start recording until after I got a lot of that set up this stuff anyway because this is all the boring acacia seed awesome more pumpkin seeds go ahead and whoops cobble that out Oh wait, can I turn these back into full blocks? Yep, totally can. There's six. Alright, so I'm gonna need like how much? Like a stack? Maybe two stacks of cobblestone to cut down some of it into sand and gravel to make grout. Um, put the grout together into bricks, cook the bricks. For anyone that doesn't know what I'm doing, this is what I'm making. This is what I will be making. Uh, clay blocks, you break down the cobblestone into gravel. So there's some gravel, you can break the gravel down into sand. You break the sand down into dust, and you put dust in water barrels to get clay. So, this is what I'm making. And once I make a bunch of these, I'm going to be cooking them into the bricks and you use the bricks to make pieces of the smeltery and then once I get the smeltery put together I will start getting ores or I might actually get some ores before I start running the smeltery I don't know but smeltery is kind of a top priority now that I've got a way to cook food, let me check. Can I turn this into anything edible? Like jerky. Oh, you can make dirt. Three saplings and a piece of sand. Huh. Or three leaves and sand. That looks a lot more efficient. I might start doing that. Sugar, apple, rotten flesh for that. Graveyard soil. Zombie jerky with salt. Don't have that. That enchanter drying rack. Okay, good. Um, I can go ahead and make a couple of those right now. Really only need one. 
and I'm gonna put it right there. Bam. Okay. Uh, don't need this sword. Well, I might as well keep it in case something gets loose, but it probably won't. Famous last words, right? Anyway, uh, I've got some more gravel, I mean, uh, some more dirt to make, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.